Welcome everybody to WWC Anarchy Show 4, the go home show for Anarchy because we got the pay-per-view next Saturday night. And it is going to be a show you do not want to miss because this is the A show. Not Carnage, this is the A show, and we're going to start it off tonight with a fusion title contendership match. I told you in Discord that Popcorn Boy would be in a matchup, and he's going to be in this matchup. So let's get this matchup started. It's a fatal four way fusion title contendership. Let's see who all we got in the fusion title picture. Who's coming for Tinku at the pay per view for his fusion title? How is everybody doing in that? Thank you everybody for the host. Thanks everybody for being here. Much appreciated. Tweet it out. Host the stream. It is all appreciated. Good to see you back, P.O. Uh, not downloaded your call yet. Hopefully you will be able to debut Saturday. Um, I hope. If... Uh, But I will get your call downloaded for sure. I will not say it, Hikuri. And Hikuri, remember what I told you last week. Your consequences. Tonight, you go two-on-one versus Nerd. And Crusher. And if you lose that, you'll be stripped of your million-dollar championship. And that's just the bottom line. Remember, guys, retweet the stream, tweet it out, tell everybody the WWC EFET is live. And uh, this Fatal 4 Way is going to be, let's just say, a big time. Uh, you'll see what I mean when we start it up. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, Crown. Of course, LA is going to be going down tonight against the Crown, aka Adrian Webb. Let's see who's all in this Fatal 4-Way matchup. Fusion title contendership. Uh-oh. <laughs> what a way to start off the show. Most deadly. Of the NWO. It's not Injustice Hikiri. It's Justice for the NWO and the people of Anarchy. <laughs> uh, no, must. He's, he's a former champ. Gotta have him on the A show. And plus, anybody on the NWO side is a A plus player. And that's just telling you like it is, God. Then after this stream, I gotta finish up. My first article for Wrestling News World drops tomorrow. I'm excited about it. And here comes the next entrant in this Fatal 4-Way Fusion title. Contendership, uh-oh, from parts unknown, it's a beast. <laughs> He's got a loaded knee pad, eh? I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past him. He wins every time with that knee strike, but that may be stopped tonight when you go one on one with Laker Taker. Oh, 
We got two more inches. Of course, we know one of them. That's Popcorn Boy, but we shall see who the other one is. Ah, we we got we got this one right. We knew Popcorn Boy was gonna be in this matchup. Now, if if I put my two senses together, and I don't have much of a brain, welcome to the stream, Colp. Did I get it right? <laughs> I hope I did. And if I got it wrong, well, just kick me out. Of wrestling news. Everybody, say hello to uh, Colby from WrestlingNewsWorld.com. <laughs> Great. Welcome to the WWC Fed, Colby. I have run this for four years here on Twitch. Um, viewers come in, make their wrestlers and fight against each other. Oh, and here comes the final entry into this fatal four way matchup. Jody B. The Redneck from Alabama. <laughs> Gundam's favorite wrestler in the WWC. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Maybe this is a fail four way. Who knows what this game's gonna do with these four guys in here? <laughs> you better believe it, Jody Bees. He's something else, I will tell you that. Fortunate to know Jody in real life. Here we go, Fatal 4 way. No telling what's going to happen here. This is like the, the battle of the giants, I guess you could say. The giants and the misfits and the redneck. <laughs> oh. But here we go, the fight going to the outside. <laughs> yeah, but he used to have a tag partner, Butcher Pete. But uh, I think he ate him. <laughs> Chopper got the power bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is 2K physics for you. The, I tell you, this game. I think Gummon's right. We should stick with 2K19. This game from the start has just been bugged out, but we keep it going here on the WWC Fed and Colby. I'm saying, I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying, if you're a regular here, we can get you a wrestler made. We can make it whatever you want. We can go as crazy as you want. Trust me, I've had purple bunnies in here before. I've had, I have a turtle. So, I mean, we could go, you know, bizarre with your character or plain and simple like Jody B. <laughs> yeah, I have a gunman, a lawyer that is a gunman. <laughs> Respect the tot, you better believe this. Yeah, man, I've got a, a couple people that's on Xbox that uh, make a character, send me pictures of it, and I just uh, take it off theirs and put it on here. I'm kind of nervous, though, Colby. My first article goes up in the morning. I just got one little thing to fix on it, then I'll set it up for publish. But yeah, Colby, welcome anybody. You come in, brother. We'd love to have you. 
Uh, we go live every Tuesday night and Saturday night, 9.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, oh, look at this. Most Dilly locking in the torture rack. But in comes Beast. Gonna try to bring it up. We got that light fixture in the way. It's always in the, in the way. Uh-oh. Beast locking in a submission hold on Jody. Must better break that up. There we go, must. I can read, game. <laughs> uh, it's on the Undisputed Era if they should uh, leave NXT and move up to the main roster or stay. It's a, it's a very simple uh, piece and a very simple answer also. <clears throat> yes, we do. We run a WWC Rumble chat to every season, P.O. Um, the last Rumble we had, I think, Popcorn, which is in the ring right now. One, of course, he was on a under a different persona then. Don't want to break kayfabe, but he was. Uh oh, Must has got Beast up. F5 to Beast, but Jody B is right there to break up the pin. If Jody hadn't been there, that might have been it. And Must Deli might have been going on. To face thank you at the pay-per-view. I oh, want a big power slam in the, in the ring by Popcorn Boy. Now they are just brawling on the outside. Oh, and Jody B just dropped the hip, <laughs> the hip press. <laughs> right on must tell you that had it. <laughs> oh my lord, that did not feel good, I'm sure. Mm. I hope so, Colby. This is my first um, new, uh, you know, wrestling news. Uh, my first time doing, you know, wrestling news write-ups and wrestling opinion write-ups and stuff like that. And I've always wanted to do it, but um, I'm glad I finally get the shot to try it out, Mister Overalls. <laughs> yeah, Jody. He's something else. Here we go. Jody B going to try to lift up Must Dudley. But it ain't happening today. Oh, Jody B with a big jawbreaker. Uh-oh. Now Jody. Butterfly suplex to Must. Uh-oh. Now Jody B. Dropping the elbow. This may do it right here. Jody B wins the matchup and is going on to face Tinky at the pay-per-view next Saturday night for the Fusion title. <laughs> oh my lord, Jody B <laughs> with the elbow drop. <laughs> you saw that hip press right there right on bust. And then the big elbow drop finished him off in the middle of the ring. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. The underdog. To be honest, I didn't think Jody would win that matchup, but he did. Great win, Jody. Now he gets to face Tinky for the Fusion title at the pay-per-view. And up next, we have got a matchup I have been anticipating ever since I announced it last week on Anarchy Show. And uh, it's going to be interesting, to say the least. We've got Gabe Dust. Versus the Doctor of Playonomics, Wick Vaya. Inside the cage. Steel cage match. And it is going to be one to remember. <laughs> yes, it does. I knew Gummy would say something like that. This has huge implications 
I'm sure for Carnage Saturday night. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you, Colby. Much appreciated. Like I said, I got to edit on the bottom um, a little bit. But well, here comes Game Dust. Oh, get out of high here, High Curie. The injustice is happening right after this matchup. It will be a two on one handicap matchup, High Curie. You didn't call me the best in the WWC. You didn't call me the best CEO last week. So now, you're in a handicap match, and if you lose, you're stripped of the million dollar championship. It's the bottom line. Because as the CEO, I'm forced to make these tough decisions. If somebody doesn't want to show me respect, that's what happens. And now here comes this. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> the Doctor of Playonomics, Wigvaya. <laughs> Wick is not a popular person, Colby, that's for sure. <laughs> Wrestling fan can tell you that, Colby. <laughs> oh, don't join. No, don't, don't do that, Colby. Well, you do, guys, you do know Colby is in here. He's new. And he's got to know what playa means for Wick. We may show him that promo after this. Uh, in real life, Wick via WWC promo. The best of all time. But here we go. Wick taking it to Game Dust in this cage matchup. There you go, Gabe does. Ooh. <laughs> uh, the thing is, he's got Goldberg's moves also. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wick is trying to get out of the cage already. Game Dust dropped him on his back. <laughs> he does need the hat. <sighs> that is Colby from uh, Wrestling News World. Uh, the new wrestling site I'm writing for, Wick. Great people. I'll go check them out. <laughs> Colby is your new fan, Wick. I told him, though, everybody, I told him, I said, I told Colby, I said, everybody hates Wick, and then he turned into a Wick fan. 
Peel, thank you for the host. That game does taking it to Wick. <laughs> Here we go, Wick with a big butterfly suplex pins the leg. <laughs> yeah, Wick expects to be hated. He's always been hated. Big boot by Wick. Uh oh. Wick may be gone. Oh no, Gabe Dust taking out the leg. Uh oh. Wick kicked him back. The Gabe Dust is not done. There goes Wick! <laughs> and that Gabe Dust climbing up on the cage. What's up, Phil? How are you, brother? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Gabe Dust is the king of the jobbers. Uh, Colby. Don't make fun of him. What's up, Popcorn? You missed Jody B. Pinning must and taking away your fusion title opportunity is what you missed. Oh! <laughs> And they do it! Wick is busted wide open! Game Dust! Climbing! Oh, surely not. Oh my lord. Please don't tell me Game Dust is gonna win this. Please get up there, Wick! Please! <laughs> he, did, he just barely made it! Just barely! Wick has just barely made it up there. And he is trying to take him down to his level. And now Wick trying to get up. At the same time Gabe Dust is. Wick is making it up first. But Wick with a. Why is the light in the way? There goes Game Dust! Wick just threw him off the top of the cage! This has got to be it right here. Wick is going to win the cage match. He's got it. That's it. <laughs> Wick has won the steel cage match. We got to play the promo now. I mean, we got new guys now. They need to see it. To see why he is a doctor of playonomics and why this matchup was inside a steel cage. <laughs> I mean, the cage was in effect, player. And we have got to have the promo afterwards. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Also, Steve, Joel, thank you for the follow. Also, everybody, thank you for the follows. Much appreciated. We gotta get a mic down there and see what Wick has got to say about this matchup. 
Let's see what he's got to say about his victory and what happened. <laughs> Y'all are gonna love this promo, you guys. Way back from 2016 or 2017. This is the Wick Via player promo. Enjoy while the next match is getting ready. Listen up, Commissioner of Happy Arcade. I've got some advice from a champion to a contender. I get that Haipu Nation is a big deal for you and Haipu, but I'm not worried about it because when you enter into the ring versus the greatest of all time in the WWC and the four time champion of the world, it can't help you, player. If you think Haipu Nation is so great and it's over 9,000, why don't you step your game up versus me for my title? You versus me in a Hell in a Cell matchup. The champion, the contender, the cage player. Do you accept my challenge? Is Haipu Nation strong enough to enter into Wick City in a cage? Commissioner of the Happy Arcade, you're next! <laughs> it never gets old. <laughs> it never gets old. <laughs> oh, up next, uh, we have got <clears throat> none other. <laughs> oh, here we go, Hi, Kiri, come on down to the ring and uh, take your punishment for uh, not calling me the greatest of all time, the greatest CEO of all time. Here comes the million dollar champion, Mr. Simple Clean, best in the world, Hi, Kiri. Stick with Mr. <laughs> uh, you lost a fan, Wick. I'm sorry, I played your promo, you lost a fan. This is High Curie. I believe he's in chat tonight. Uh, but he's about to be uh, taken down by the NWO my faction here in the WWC uh, for not respecting me and the greatness that I am as a CEO oh don't you start in now Kobe don't you start don't you call him the face of the company no 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 I'm the face of the company the CEO is the face of the company Ugh. There's no way he's winning this, Jace. I'm sorry to break your little bubble there. Because he will pay. I guess Nerd Nerfer and Crusher. The NWO. I carry uh, Colby. I'm not going to tag him in chat. And he is about to go downtown. Oh, no, there's still. No, no, no. No, 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 Colby. Uh, no. Here we go, two on one handicap match. Take him out, boys. Because if he loses this matchup, he will be stripped of the million dollar championship. 
then we will see what happens from there. I might show him mercy. Probably not. But I just want to see that title taken off of him. Because this... Right here, the guy in purple, Mr. Akiri, is not the face. Of a WWC. Nerd, break this up. We, we don't want to see this. Get him. This should be quick work for Nerd and Crusher of the NWO. Should be easy. <laughs> it was great, wasn't it, Goldie? We should post that on WrestlingNewsWorld.com. That would uh, that would draw in the viewers for sure. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, well, whatever, Wick. What's up, LA? The man that is in the next matchup against Adrian Webb. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go, Chris, you're going, oh, come on, ref. Did a quick count it, why not? Let's get this over with. We got a main event. Let's strip him from the title, let's get this over with. <laughs> Funny thing is, Colby, um, I had lost that promo it was posted in WWC. I had it for WWC. Like I said, this was back in 2017, probably. And then this year, I get a message from the standing one. As you know, the standing streamer. I'm actually good buddies with uh, the standing one. Um, have been for a few years. Um, he messaged me and said, I've got this video. And it's from the WWC. And I said, you're kidding. You got the Wick Cage promo. I said, yes, I do. I said, you have got to send that to me. <laughs> so the lost archives have been found. <clears throat> resident drunk streamer of WWE. Yes, yes, that would be him. <laughs> the resident drunk streamer of WrestlingNewsWorld.com with terrible wrestling opinions. Okay, guys, let's wrap this. What are we doing here? I understand the punishment and all that torture, but... What's up, Wells? How you doing, brother? If you're still in, Wells, we'll have your debut Saturday. Against Peel. I'm sorry, I'm overriding you. I'm making a match for you. New guys got to get in Saturday. You can book the rest of your show around the pay-per-view. We got to get P.O. We got to get main event Wales in Saturday night. And I'm making it official. Because I am the CEO. <laughs> uh. And maybe by then, maybe Colby will have something for us. We'll make it a triple threat. Yeah, he's one of them guys. I was on the uh, Smack Raw podcast last night, uh, Colby. Um, and if you've watched it, I'm sorry. I only look at the Twitch chat. I don't. I don't look on Facebook or Twitter chat. I only look at the Twitch chat. So I, sorry if you did watch it, but uh, uh, I was on the Smack Raw podcast last night, and Drew McIntyre subject came up, and I told Kai, I said, I haven't been a fan of Drew McIntyre and his run so far. I think that they need to put the title on somebody else. But you see the ratings, and you see the viewership, 
And plus, I'm not a fan of Drew Winnie. I think he's mid-card at best. Mid-card tackle. And, uh, but, and that's just my opinion. A curious body card. <laughs> well, uh, we may be looking for a tag team partner. I don't know. We had a cult start up in here, but the cult, I don't know what's going to happen to the cult. I think they've ran off. Doing great, Wells. How are you? That's what I'm saying. I think Drew would be great in a mid-card position, but not in the main position. All right, nerd, finish it off right here. Back superplex off the top rope. Crusher not gonna pit him though. What we got, Crusher? Oh, <laughs> the sleeper hole locked in. <laughs> They're nerve locking in submission. Hold on, hi, Kiri. Oh, come on. Here we go, nerd nerfer with the Irish curse trifecta. I don't know about that, cool people. <laughs> uh, here we go, count it, riff, count it. Two. Oh, Coquina Clutch locked down by Hike! But Crusher's right there to break it up. Oh, and Crusher throwing Hike here to the outside. No respect for the million dollar champion. That's what you got around here. Because he's not a good million dollar champion, he's not the face. That's what I need to be on is cameo. So every time somebody sends me a cameo, says, "Hey, can you um, promote me and say that you know, you know, say that AEW is the best wrestling show going today and all this stuff and promote AEW because I'm an AEW fan," well then I can tell them how stupid they are. That would make for great cameos. All right, Hack, you're enough strutting and showing off. Crusher in this. Nerd in this. <laughs> this is why I think me and you get along so well, Colby. Because it takes a wrestling fan, a real wrestling fan, to sit here and say, I don't like that. Because they promote all elite wrestling, but let's be honest, it's not all elite wrestling. Here we go, sharp shooter applied. Tap out, Yuri. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out, Yuri. I think he's passed out. No, he may be, but not after that elbow drop. Here we go. Come on, come on. That's it. That's it. Yes! <laughs> yes! That's what you get, Hikuri. For not calling me the face of this company. And for saying that I am a good CEO for this company.
sorry, hi, Curry. But, uh, you are no longer the fusion champion. Sorry. I mean, you're no longer the million dollar champion. <laughs> <laughs> it's Colin Akiri. I'm sorry. You're no longer the million dollar champion. The world champ will not be on Anarchy because he's not a plus material, Colby. And that would be Third Gunman, your world champ. Which I do not support. Because he is anti me, he is anti NWO. Yeah, I was overwhelmed by that promo week, that's why I called it the wrong title. But y'all know the main event tonight. Lake your taker versus Adrian Webb. No holds barred. Whoever wins this goes on to the pay per view to face the standing one who is your intercontinental champion. For that title. <laughs> Don't we all, Kobe? <clears throat> Here comes Laker Taker, one half of the tag team champs. But he's coming after that IC championship if he wins tonight against Webb. <laughs> That's what a non champ does is mess up his words in his chat, gunman. how you do it I'm just saying if you're in with me you're guaranteed to get wins because I love handicap matches crown is Adrian Webb wick I know you know that I know you're just picking but <laughs> I enjoyed that run with the authority and Rollins. Yeah, I got plenty of henchmen. <laughs> Even the standing one is one of my henchmen. What's up, Tink? Tink, guess what? Pay per view next Saturday. You get to face Jody B. The redneck in overalls. Good luck. <laughs> Here comes Adrian Webb. No, you still got your title, Tink.
You face Jody B for it at the pay-per-view. Who's the face of WWC? Me. I'm the CEO. I run everything. I'm the greatest of all time. Why not? <clears throat> well, bring me some popcorn while you're at it, popcorn boy. I do wrestle from time to time on here. T Rod Dudley, there you go. T Rod Dudley is the face of the WWC, my other persona. Here we go. LA versus Adrian Webb. Pay per view will be next Saturday night, Colby. Our next show, our go home show, will be this Saturday night. Look at these strikes <laughs> by Webb. You gotta watch his knee strikes. I'm telling you, I think that knee pad is loaded like Gumman said earlier. But a big clothesline by LA. Uh oh. Extended show Gunman for the like, Saturday. Oh. That's what I need in booking more terrible matches. Oh, right in the steel steps. <laughs> and again, <laughs> under the steel steps. Good lord, I'm glad this is no holds barred. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good ones. Now, we're going to have you and P.O. and I don't know if Colby wants to debut this Saturday night. But, well, actually, no, we can't. Because... I think this Saturday. Slammiversary? Who knows? I might add in a match of the pay per view. Colby versus uh, me. No, we'll see. We'll see. Or versus D Rod Dudley, should I say. My other persona. Easy dub. I'll get out. Easy dub. Adrian Wells versus Adrian Wells. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you could do that. That would be interesting. Look at this dragon sleeper applied here by Adrian Webb. Laker having none of it though. I lay with a big scoop slam. Oh Lord have mercy. Showing out. Come on, LA. If you're gonna win that IC title from the standard one, you can't show out with him. <laughs> oh, now I lay with a big elbow drop. Oh, what a strike combination there by Webb now going for the pin. LA kicks out though, sets up. Uh, went for something, but Webb with these combination strikes.
Uh, this is no holds barred. Webb has got the steel chair. But LA caught him and throws it right back in his face. Uh oh. Uh oh. We have seen this before. We have seen this before. LA with old school. Uh, but Webb kicks out. Yes, everyone's the same overall. Uh, cool. Oh no, oh no. Good night, Webb. Hell's Gate is locked in. Good night, Webb. That's it. That's it. Wait a minute. Webb is fighting out of it. He got out. Uh oh. Oh, cross body reversal by Webb. Sure thing. Oh, oh no, here comes this loaded knee strike right to the face. Good night, LA. Nobody has ever kicked out of that. Webb. <laughs> wow. That knee strike is OP. <laughs> yes, he does, Wales. <laughs> well, at least LA still got the tag title, even though his partner's MIA sometimes. Hashtag loaded kneecap is what we're calling it now. <laughs> uh. Yeah, uh, Colby, we'll talk after, for sure. That was your main event. There is your new Intercontinental Champion contender. He will go one on one with the standing one at the pay per view next Saturday. What a night! Great matchups. Great, great matchups. And this is why Anarchy is the A show. And why that we are on top of this. You know, we got this. I mean, current is they pull out Hulk Rogan and Gilberg and think everything's fine. But here on Anarchy, we actually put together. Thoughtful matchups and stuff that makes sense. And that is why Anarchy is the A Show. We'll see you Saturday night, 9 30 p.m. Central Time for the B Minus Show Carnage ran by Third Gunman. Thanks everybody for showing out. Much appreciated. Uh, P.O. Colby, Wales, everybody else. Thanks for showing up, and uh, Wick, Gummin, Crown, I mean, I can name off everybody. Gummin, Wick, Crown, Darren, Gavin, Hakiri, Jace, L.A., Wells, P.O., Blind Umpire, uh, Colby, and everybody else. Thanks for showing up. Much appreciated, as always. And uh, it is great to be doing this, and... Uh, Hopefully we can get some of you new guys in this Saturday. Uh, 9.30 p.m. PM Central Time. See, this show's got me fired up. I can't even speak. After Carnage Saturday night, I don't know. I'll probably get fired up for the new guys debuting. But other than that, I'll probably be asleep after the show. Because, you know, it's the B-minus show. Anarchy's where it's at. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Much appreciated. And uh, have a great day tomorrow and a great rest of your night. CEO out.